I think Kukun supported me in creating references experiences of what it's like to be in a safe space. And that is really powerful. I really felt invited by that description of a safe space where you are with other people that are in transition. Cocoon is inspired by the transformation process of the butterfly. At one point in the life of the caterpillar, it spins this cocoon and within that safe space, it falls apart almost entirely. All the old structures fall apart in order for new cells to emerge. These new so-called imaginal cells represent the properties of the butterfly already. They represent that image. We're in a time where we need to take a lot more responsibility for the power we have and a lot of people aren't ready for it and we need each other to learn <laughs> from each other and guide our, each other through the process. Yeah. At first they're being attacked by the immune system of the caterpillar. They barely stand a chance of surviving. But over time they figure out a way of combining themselves with one another, building these clusters. And these clusters then cannot be attacked anymore. This is when they take over the system and at one point the wings of the newly emerged butterfly burst open the cocoon and the butterfly emerges. I think honestly it's sort of something that we societally need at the moment. Really for me it's this concept of safe spaces, of knowing that by going into relationships with people where things are safe, I can process my emotions and I can come out of this and operate in the world from my better place. To give myself space and time to arrive at a place that embodies what I want to bring into the world, where you can allow yourself to play a bit with what you might want to be or, or be seen with what you maybe already are. And I would love to see a cocoonizing around us, that everybody gets to be part of something like a cocoon, a safe space, where they resource themselves maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And I think that has an incredible potential to, to change the world in the direction that we want it to go. Cocoon supported me by creating opportunities again and again to express things that I wouldn't usually dare to express. Feeling less alone in what can be, what can feel like a struggle to find your truth and your calling and to connect to other people who are on that journey who can see you already maybe a step further than you see yourself. I think if, so, if somebody resonates with the idea of wanting to make the world a better place, I would go through the cocoon. I think it's a, almost a necessary experience to best serve the world. Yeah, I recommend, I recommend cocoon to people who are struggling with weird things in their face and in their life and they just want to integrate it more, show themselves more, be accepted, you know, just own it, you know, own their absurdities.